Hey YouTube, it's Hey Dino. Um, this is update six, I believe, of Clomid and TTC and Clomid with PCOS. Um, if you guys have never seen my video, I have something called polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS, which really means it enables you to get pregnant because um, you don't either you don't or you either you lack of or you don't have as much um, menstruals throughout the year. Um, there's unwanted hair, unwanted places, um, excessive gain, weight gains, and there's a lot of stuff that you and your doctor, if you think you have polycystic ovarian syndrome, that you and your doctor should just go ahead and do some um, talk to, to your doctor. And my doctor did blood work um, and also did ultrasound to say that I do have polycystic ovarian syndrome. I don't have the cyst, but I do have all the other symptoms. Not all, but most. Um, so that's how they end up figuring out that I do have PCOS. So I've been trying to conceive for quite a while. It's been, we got engaged 2009, we got married 2011, and now it's 2013. Um, I haven't stopped trying since we got engaged. Um, I mean, like, I wasn't actively trying to get pregnant, but we weren't doing anything to prevent it. So, 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, that's five years. We've been together for nine. Um, we have not used protection for the last eight. So, I haven't been pregnant at once. And that's kind of um, the reason why I decide to get pregnant now, because I'm 30, I'm about to be 31, a couple of, like, Today is the 21st, and about, in about 50 days, I'll be turning 31, and, um, you know, I don't know how long this process is going to take me. It could happen right away, or it could take years, and it's already 30, and I don't want to wait too long. Yes, I am in school, and yes, it's going to be hard to have a child. And go to school but so does every everybody does it and they find a way and I know I can find my way. Um I have a great home, a great job, a great car, a loving husband, great support system. So I know I'm in good hands. Um let's see what else. So I started Clomid on the thirteenth of November. Um my period started on the ninth of November. I started it five days after that which is the thirteenth. Actually, what kind of crazy is um, my appointment with the fertility clinic was on the 13th, which is day five, and I really did not think she was going to give me um, Clomid because she didn't before, and it was kind of funny how it was on day five. I didn't even plan it that way. It just happened to be day five, my menstrual. I didn't think I was going to get my period when I made that, when they called me to make that appointment. And it was day five, so she went ahead and prescribed me that Clomid, and I started that day. Uh, I stopped my menstrual that Sunday. No. I started Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Um, day one, two, three, and four of Clomid, I was on my menstrual. I stopped my menstrual day five. Uh, we BD, BD equals also stands for baby dancing on day five. Um, and then day six. And day five, six, and seven. Um, and then today is day 13. I, I believe we, we did quite a few baby dancing. Um, the cramps were not bad. I, the symptoms, I didn't have any really symptoms while I was on, on, um, clothing while, while I was on my menstrual because, you know, um, cramping and stuff associated with my menstrual. And then as my menstrual was done, I didn't have any symptoms really for the first two days, for the first day. Um, and then Tuesday, it started with cramping. Um, Monday, I had a little bit, but not much. Tuesday, um, I had some cramping, um, no, I'm sorry, 
Saturday started crapping. Sunday, I had a lot of crapping. Monday, I had crapping. Tuesday, it wasn't so bad, but I still had some crapping. I had some nausea. My breast was hurting. All that nine yards. Monday and Tuesday. It was like that. Yesterday was Wednesday. I had really bad crapping later on in the evening. I had I was bloated throughout the day, but I had really bad cramping in the evening. I it was to the point where I couldn't even pay attention to the professor in my class. It was pretty bad. Um it happened twice yesterday. I did an OPK um since the last day of my last clomid and they've been all negative so far. Um four OPKs or all four of them negative. I did one this morning and I'm gonna be doing one I'll be doing another one tonight. Um the ones I've been using were the um digital, but I'm gonna buy the other ones that show two lines or one line. I'm gonna be doing those. Um because I like I did them before and I like those better than the digital ones. And plus they're a lot more cheaper. So um so we um Yesterday, came home, ate, went to sleep, woke me up with cramps. Um, so I tried to do baby dancing with my husband, and it was painful. Oh, my God, was it so painful. I'm still cramping up really bad. He's like, what's wrong? I said, I'm cramping really, really, really bad. And so he had to stop. He had to go to work. I and mean, it was just too painful for me to continue. I just said, it's just, just better off to stop because it was painful and he couldn't really stay, you know, up. And because I was just saying, oh my God, this hurts, this hurts, this hurts. And he's like, okay, I can't do it. So um, today, I think before um, we do anything, I think I'm going to put like warm compress on my stomach to loosen up things. To, make me feel a little better and then move to baby dancing because I think it's really important for us, for us to do baby dancing today, tomorrow, um, for the next week or so because I know this should be the ovulation time. So hopefully things will work out and uh, things will go the way they're supposed to go and uh, tomorrow is my ultrasound. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm still sleeping, I guess. Um, tomorrow is my ultrasound at one thirty, so I will let you guys know what happened. And I will talk to you guys then tomorrow. I right, thank you so much for watching. Again, baby death for you. And baby death.